In this video, I am going to discuss about C program to find root of quadratic equation. So, right here, this is the all code. Now, first, I am going to discuss about what quadratic equation is. The so, standard form of quadratic equation is ax square plus bx plus c. Suppose, so, if I am going to enter the value of a1 and here, b value going to enter at here minus 5. And here C value I enter at here 4. Now here I am going to apply this ABC value into AX square plus BX plus C. So 1 into X square the value come at here X square and here after uh, B value is now minus 5. So at here the value come minus 5X and here after C value 4 and here 0. So add here we can write x square minus 5x. So this value is now come 4x minus x plus 4 equal to 0. Now here after I am going to take the common x. So x and here after 4. Now here after going to take the common minus 1. So add here the x and here the value come x minus 4. Now x minus 4 at a uh, common at here. So going to take the x minus 4 common. So the value come x minus 4, x minus 1. Now here after the value come 0. So x has two value. First is, first is x equal to 1 and 4. So we can or directly calculate quadratic of equation by this way. Or you can try it at here. Use this formula. So at here b square minus 4ac. So b square that is so b minus 5 square. So value come 25 minus 4ac minus 4a value 1 c value 4. So this value is now come 16. Divide by not divide by at here b square minus 4ac. The value come at here 9. So this value is now it come 9 and here minus b. So add here minus 5 minus minus this value is now come plus 5 and here plus 5 oh, and oh, oh, under root 9. So add here the value under root 9 divide by or oh, 2a. A value is now 2. So add here 5. And under root 9, the value come 3. So 5 plus 3, 8. 8 by 2, the value come at here 4. Now here after, so minus b, so minus minus, this value is now come plus 5. Here after, minus b square minus 4 is c. So this value is now, it come 9. Divide by 2 into 1, that is 2. So add here this value is now it come 5 minus 3 divided by 2 the value come at here 1. So first value is 4 next value is 1. So we can use this direct formula or we can calculate by this way. So this is the quadratic equation root of quadratic equation 4 and 1 of this equation x square minus 5x plus 4. So these things I am going to calculate by using Seesaw.NET programming. So right here this code that is already that I written. Now here after, so this is the code. So right here I have taken double time variable or 6 and double time variable abc b x1 x2 and this are displayed to the output screen and here whatever I am going to enter so that is received by abc. So at the first is if a not equal to 0 then that coincide that calculate d value. So let's execute here. So a value going to enter 1 and here b value going to enter minus 5 and c value 4. So the value it's coming x1 4 x2 1. Now here so when the value of a equal to 0 so a value is not equal to 0 then that calculate d. So when the value of a equal to 0, then that to display quadratic equation not possible. So
So at the end, going to enter a value 0, b value 8, c value here. So you can add it to click as a not possible and this is the value returning at x to infinity x1 n a n. Now here after suppose uh, if uh, add here or d greater than equal to 0. So d value is now b square minus 4 is c. So when I enter b value a smaller than 4 is c. So suppose if I enter b value 2 or uh, b value sorry b value going to enter to not a. So first a, a value I enter 5 b value 2 here after c value 2 so root not possible because b is square 2 is square 4 here after uh, b is square that is 2 into 2 4 4 ac 4 into 5 20 20 into uh, 2 40 so at here 4 minus uh, 40 the value comes 36 so minus 36 greater than equal to 0 so this condition is not true so that go to the else part here that to display root not possible so let's understand by example so there i written the code so if you debug the code control comes to main method here after that go inside so first variable i have taken a b c here after d x1 and next x2 here after a console dot write and this are displayed into the output scheme so a value going to enter 1 b value going to enter 5 and c value going to enter 4 now here after if a not equal to 0 a value is 0, uh, 1 1 not equal to 0 that coincide d equal to going to calculate so at a b square so b square minus 5 k square the value come 25 minus 4 ac 4 a 1 into 4 so the value comes 16 so 25 minus 16 the value comes at your 9 so at your d value 9 it's a coming now if condition is true so that not coincide so at your d value b square minus 4 is c now here after if d greater than equal to 0 so d value is 9 9 greater than equal to 0 so that coincides so at your or uh, the new value of d math dot sqrt function so d that is 9 so after applying sqrt function so new value of d is now 3 now here after oh, x1 equal to minus b so minus minus the value come at here plus plus 5 and plus 5 plus here d value is now 3 and divide by 2 into a value is at here 1 2 into 1 the value come 2 so 5 plus 3 the value come 8 8 by 2 the value come 4 so at your x1 value 4 it's coming and x2 value at your minus b so minus minus that is the plus 5 and d value is now minus 3 minus 3 divide by 2 into 4 so at your 5 minus 3 the value come 2 2 by 2 the value come 1 so x2 value at your 1 console dot right hand so this x1 value that display at your 4 and x2 value that display 1 so if condition add here it's a printing 4 here and 1 it's a printing so if condition is true so that not go to the as part so suppose if i enter a value at your 0 so i enter a value 0 at your so a not equal to 0 0 not equal to 0 condition that is or not true so that go to the as part here console dot right hand quadratic equation not possible that display and suppose if I enter the value at here or d value that is less than 0. So for d value at here b must be a smaller. So a value going to enter at here or 2 and b value at here going to enter 1 and c value going to enter 2. So going to calculate d value is at here b is square so 1 is square minus 4 is c minus 4 into 2 into 2 so this value is now 4 into 2 8 8 into 2 16 16 minus 1 the value come minus 17 so d value is now minus 17 and here that calculate minus 70 greater than equal to 0 so this condition at here false so if this condition is false so that go to as part here console dot right so root not possible that is 
So this is the way we can calculate quadratic equation in seesaw.net. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.